हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर चैप्टर दैट इज डायरेक्ट एंड बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इन दैट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द डैम पोर्शन एनालिसिस ऑफ दिस मिजनरी डैम so here in this figure the mesonary dam is shown having a top width that is a and the bottom width that is b the portion of dam on water side is vertical so here the water pressure is acting so this the intensity of this water pressure at the base that will be equal to gamma into hw here the total height of this masonry dam is h but the water is present up to the depth that is hw only so the intensity of the water pressure at the base is gamma into hw gamma is nothing but it is the density of the water unit weight of water we can say so total pressure will be total water pressure will be what so it will be equal to area of this pressure distribution diagram that is the triangular one so the area of triangle that will be equal to what 1 by 2 multiply by base into vertical so base is gamma into hw and vertical is again hw so the total pressure will becomes 1 by 2 gamma hw into hw so it will becomes 1 by 2 gamma hw square so that is the total water pressure acting on the water side of this dam so another one pressure that is the base pressure seepage pressure so it is acting at the base that is here on this side there is a sigma maximum and here on this side that is the sigma minimum the major another force that is acting on this dam that is the self weight of dam that is acting vertically downward so here the water pressure is p that is acting at hw by 3 height from the base weight w that is acting downward so the resultant of this two force that is r which is acting somewhere over here so here this figure shows the cross section of this masonry dam of trapezoidal section top and bottom width r a and b respectively the height of dam that is h and uh, the water will be uh, impounded up to the height h w so for the analysis purpose we are considering the unit length of dam perpendicular to this page the dam length will be the unit for this our analysis work the force acting on this dam are here we have seen first one is a weight of the water if the portion of dam is not vertical it is inclined then we have to take a two portion one is the horizontal water pressure another one that is the weight of dam so let's uh, see it uh, if the dam is look like this
and the water is stored on upstream side up to the top so the water pressure acting that uh, uh, have a two part first one is a horizontal water pressure acting at this and another one that is the weight of water stored in this triangular portion we have to take a two part of this water pressure in that case so weight of water so first one that is the weight of dam so the weight of dam will be equal to what the area cross section area of the uh, the dam multiplied with the density of the dam material so a into rho d so area of this trapezoidal section that will be equal to top width plus bottom width divided by 2 into height so a plus b by 2 into h multiply with the rho d that will give us the weight of the dam next that is water pressure so if the dam is not the trapezoidal if the dam is inclined then what is the weight of dam that will be the area multiplied by density in that case what is area that is 1 by 2 into base b and height h multiply it with the density that is rho into d so if the dam is not the trapezoidal it is triangle then it will be a look like this now uh the point of application of this force will be a cg at cg so if it is triangular then equation for cg is a square plus ab plus b square divided by 3 into a plus b and if it is a triangular then the a top width will become a zero if it is triangular then top width will become a zero so it will become a b square by 3b so it will be a b by 3 next that is the water pressure so water pressure will be equal to what that we have seen area of that water pressure distribution triangle multi uh, so it will become so 1 by 2 gamma h w into h w so it will become so gamma h w square divided by 2 next so eccentricity so from figure we can say eccentricity will be equal to oz so let's see the figure this resultant force is acting this resultant force is acting at a distance e from this cg so that distance is called as a eccentricity so eccentricity will be equal to o into z so what is eccentricity eccentricity will be equal to o into z o t z sudhi no distance so it will be equal to what so it will be equal to c into z minus c into o so by doing that we can find out the eccentricity so eccentricity will be equal to z minus b by 2 so uh now by using the this position of the point z 
where this resultant meet at the base that can be determined by taking a moment of this so by using the principle varignan's principle that we have used in mos the moment of this resultant moment of resultant about any point moment of resultant about any point will be equal to the moment of different forces or we can say force system about the same point by using that principle we can find the equation for this so here in this case weight that is acting at a distance x bar pw that is acting at a distance h by 3 and resultant that is at a distance z so by using that we can find out this equation for the z so generally so let's see what we have seen today in this module uh, analysis of masonry dam for the analysis of this dam we need to account the forces acting on this dam so the major three forces that we need to consider over here there are so many other forces also acting on this dam like earthquake silt pressure ice pressure but we do not need to consider over here for this direct and bending stresses we have to consider the water pressure we have to consider the seepage pressure we have to consider the self weight of dam so here in this module we have seen how we can define these forces and how we can calculate these forces acting over this dam we have seen weight of dam how to compute this weight and its point of application then we have seen horizontal water pressure in different cases it is different so if the dam is trapezoidal section then weight is different if it is in triangular then weight is different we have seen the horizontal water pressure then uh, how to compute the eccentricity that we have seen so by using this uh, force analysis we can compute the direct and bending stresses in subsequent lectures